Now, smartphones, they've revolutionised so much of our daily lives, but they are also having a major impact on how political parties are reaching their citizens. Indians prepare to go to the polls this week, and social media has become a key battleground to win over hearts, minds and, of course, those all-important votes. Davina Gupta has more from Delhi. Balbu Singh is fighting to win. This is his first roadshow as a candidate for a regional party called the Amadmi in Delhi. But to reach the voters, a rally is not enough. His supporters are simultaneously shooting videos and taking pictures to create a buzz online. This is how traditionally political parties have been campaigning. But in a country with over 300 million smartphones, is the social media apps like WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook and even Instagram that's being used by political leaders to reach their voters. If 2014 was India's first social media election, 2019 is on another level. Political party advertisements like this have been made specifically for social media. This election has become all about trendy hashtags and dedicated apps that do things like live stream political speeches. Parties are pumping money into cells like this, aimed at targeting voters on social media. Elections in India are fought with very, very narrow margins. Social media can be a very, very determining factor in the overall results. Earlier we used to use a lot of news links and images, also a lot of text. Now it has uh, shifted very heavily in the favour of videos. But this element of the elections comes with its own set of problems. Fake accounts and fake news. In an effort to combat this, WhatsApp has launched a service in India that allows Except users to report messages and forwards that look fake. Share joy, not rumors. For some voters, the political buzz online can get confusing and tiring. And so social media influencers like Ramit Varma try to help them understand complex election issues through memes and satirical videos. A well-made video would get around a thousand shares within the first hour which is like 20, 30,000 views. Then on YouTube, for example, in the first 48 hours, such a video would get around uh, 150,000 views. On WhatsApp, it always organically gets spread. As India prepares for the world's largest democratic exercise, it's not clear whether social media is helping or hindering voters cut through the political noise. But with 460 million people online, it's certainly adding another element to an already colorful election. Devina Gupta, BBC News, Delhi.